Waiters of Reddit, what's the worst first date you've ever seen? Story one, I was working in a small restaurant with two floors. A woman and a man came in and I had a table for them upstairs. They looked like they had a first date because they were asking those getting to know each other questions. After ordering food, the woman had to go to the toilet, which is downstairs. As she walked to the stairs, the food arrived. She walked down, tripped, and fell all the way down, knocking her head on the ground. Two colleagues immediately rushed over to her to see how she was doing. She was unconscious and bleeding from her head, so they called an ambulance. I went to the man while he had already started eating and told him his partner, didn't know how to call her, fell down the stairs and that she was unconscious and that an ambulance was on the way. He walked to the stairs, looked down, and walked back to his table to finish his food. Later, the ambulance arrived and I asked him if he wanted to go with them to the hospital and he said no while finishing her food as well. It was so awkward, he just sat there for another 45 minutes eating, drinking, and then paid the bill and left. I still don't know what kind of relationship they had and whether the woman is okay. It seems like the guy was just hoping and waiting for an out to escape a bad date for sure. It's not a very polite mood to just leave your first date hanging while she goes to the hospital, but if he went there with her, the awkwardness probably would just continue. All the doctors and staff would just assume that you're the husband or boyfriend and be asking all of her medical history. And when she would wake up, she probably would be confused because she doesn't have much memory of the guy and probably wants him to leave the hospital anyway. At least he ate all the food she ordered too, and hopefully she got something delicious. Story 2. I used to work at a very small neighborhood restaurant. Everyone that came in was a regular. Most were couples in their 40s to 50s out for a quiet dinner. But there was one standout. A very handsome man in his early 30s would come in. It seems only to break up with women. About twice a month, he would come in with a beautiful woman, and partway through their meal, she would be crying. I always tried to clean the tables near them for as long as possible, but I never heard much of his speech. He always tipped well and was super nice to me and his coworkers. It was just brutal seeing him bring in a new lady and knowing what she was about to go through. Story 3. More a story of a non-date, really. I worked at a cafe and it was a small local chain, so there were two other locations in the city. This guy sits down for about an hour and comes up to the counter and asks if we can call around to the other locations to see if this girl was there because they had a date planned and he was sure that she must have gone to the wrong location. We called to the other two locations and they said that they had never saw anyone fitting that description. The guy stuck around for another couple hours, buying two more drinks and a sandwich, just waiting until we finally closed for the night. I feel so awful for him. He seems so crushed. Story 4. I work in an Italian restaurant, and a few years ago I waited on a guy and a girl who met for the first time upon arriving at the restaurant. There were awkward pleasantries exchanged at the door, and then they were seated. When I was taking their order, the guy asked if we had soup because he had mouth surgery a few days prior and chewing food was still a little rough. We don't have soup, so I explained that the softest food on the menu was gnocchi. He ordered the house gnocchi and proceeded to cut each tiny dumpling into four or more pieces and slowly chew each piece. He ate that entire dish over a three-hour period and the girl stuck it out for the whole thing. She looked miserable, and I'm pretty sure they never saw each other again. Story 5. Olive Garden, around 2014 or so, from like 7.30 to close on a weeknight. Middle-aged man of sub-average attractiveness was sitting alone at a table with a glass of water, insisting that his date would be just a few minutes because there's traffic. At around 9.15, the manager had to come out and let him know that the restaurant would close at 10. And if he'd like to place a food order, he should probably do it now. He ordered a bruschetta appetizer and said again that his date was on her way and they'd order when she got there. 9.45, this beautiful woman walks in and awkwardly stands by his table. I couldn't hear the conversation they had, but the man then asked for a box for the appetizer and they wound up leaving together without her ever sitting down. So let's add up the clues here. You've got a guy who isn't very attractive eating at an Olive Garden. Comes in without his date, but then this gorgeous woman shows up right at the last minute. I'm guessing her level of beauty was such that she wouldn't be caught dead at an Olive Garden otherwise. So, combine all of that and you likely have a hired escort situation. Maybe he had invited her to dinner, but she was like, nah, I'll just show up as close to closing as possible so no one has to see me. In the comments, anyone else agree or have a theory on what was going on here? Story 6. I was working at a Mexican restaurant at the time. I was waiting on a couple, and I could tell it was a first date by the questions I heard them asking each other. Anyway, 
Towards the end of their meal, there was this Hispanic girl sweeping next to their table, and the woman looks at her, holds out the remains on her plate, and says, Would you like to take this home to feed your kids? I stood there in complete shock. This woman spoke no English, but she could tell that this random woman was completely degrading her. The sad thing is, she seemed like she really thought she was doing a good deed. Her date looked so embarrassed. Story 7. I work at a Japanese restaurant and one couple comes to mind. It was the worst for everyone else involved. We offered private rooms that have sliding doors, and this couple clearly was hitting off very well, to the point that after a few drinks, she had moved to his side of the table, and they just went at each other's faces and bodies for about two hours. They could have done all of that with the doors closed, and it would have been less cringy, still cringy nonetheless, but no, the sliding doors were wide open for all the patrons to see. Kids, big groups of people, waitstaff, runners, etc. If I remember correctly, they tip pretty bad too, so it was not a fun time. Story 8. Worked at Applebee's. This woman was the worst woman I've ever waited on. She was needy and slurped down her iced tea like there was a worldwide shortage. He was silent. He didn't talk once except to order his quesadilla burger, and she just kept going and going, prattling on. And she was mean, too, talking down about how people were losers to be servers and how much better it was to work in a shop. At the end, he went to the bathroom and just never came back. He apparently jetted to the side door, where the to-go girls worked, and gave them a 20 to give to me. Worst woman was just sitting there and waiting for him to come back. I stood there at the service station just waiting for her to realize he wasn't coming back. So after 10 minutes, she just started crying, pushes his chair over, and flounced out. I didn't get a tip, but it made my night. Story 9. I work at a country club that is up to its ears in old money, that uses said old money to make more new money. The membership fees cost more than a year at my university. To say money is not an issue there would be an understatement. Anyways, I was serving a young couple and the power imbalance was phenomenal. She was the daughter of one of the board members and the entire staff knew her father's club account was major money. And the gent, well, he wasn't a member and certainly looked like he was just the average broke college student. He was wearing plain but nice clothes and she was dressed to the nines in fashion. The date seemed to be going smoothly enough nothing out of the ordinary, until she gets up and leaves the table before I have brought out the bill. I bring the bill to the counter, knowing it was well over $300 worth of food and drinks, all things she insisted on ordering. Two bottles of top-shelf wine, neither finished, two steaks. When he asked for the chicken, she insisted on him eating steak, like a man, and he solemnly goes to pull out his wallet and starts tearing up, apologizing that he won't be able to tip. I mean, I've never had a customer cry over not being able to tip, and he further explained he was a server too, and she didn't know he wasn't rich, and she left because he had told her about his scholarship. I was flabbergasted, and kindly reminded him that at this country club we do not take credit cards nor cash, we only charge to accounts. And so her father got the hefty bill. Rest assured, he signed a handsome tip to me in her name, because club policy is that the registered guests may sign for their host member given that the members have invited them. It was entirely satisfying. Last I heard, her father cut her off, and I can't help but smile all the life lessons she is learning, like working to go on dates. At least this poor guy was able to escape the date without having to spend a dime on this stuck-up rich girl. At first, I'm sure he was super nervous to take on such an expensive bill, but it quickly went from sweating it to a huge sigh of relief, I'm sure. The relationship probably never worked out, I would assume, but at least... He got some high-class steak and top-shelf wine out of it. And now he has a good, when I was back in college, story to tell later. Story 10. This is actually a story where the somewhat awkward guy was doing pretty good until his boss messed it up for him. So, so there was this couple on a first date, seated at a table in the back. At first, I didn't think much of it. Wasn't even aware that it was a first date until the restaurant's phone rang. A man called to let me know that his son was there on his very first date ever. His son was in his late 20s. Now, obviously, this was a big deal to him, and he called the restaurant to make sure that we could do our best to make sure that they have a pleasant evening. My boss heard and instantly went to the kitchen in order to make sure that they got a special treatment. What followed was plates with rose petals, red hearts, etc., way over the top. When serving the plates, my boss even mentioned the phone call. To finish it off, the dessert came complete with fireworks and all that. The idea was sweet, but obviously this was way too much for a first date of two people who were basically just getting to know each other. As the evening progressed, the girl was visually put off by my boss trying too hard, 
and the poor guy. Up until then, he had been doing quite well, and the pair seemed to be having a lovely evening. Until my try-hard boss entered the scene, that is. The girl was polite towards the end of their date, but it was obvious that there was not going to be a second date. And it wasn't even the guy's fault. Other people ruined it for him. I felt so sorry for that dude. Story 11. I once had a guy come sit at my bar who was waiting for his blind date. He orders a couple of drinks to calm his nerves. Well, he probably should have slowed it down to keep his mouth from working faster than his brain. And anywho, she shows up and is way out of his league. She is absolutely beautiful. She orders a drink and they start talking. I come back to check on them and I hear them talking about how much he hates children. He was saying things like he hopes he never has any and that he will never be stuck taking care of them. And now he wishes that kids couldn't be taken in public places so that he wouldn't have to be around them. She looked him dead in the eye and said, well, I have a daughter and I love her very much. She grabbed her purse and walked out on him. The look on his face was absolutely priceless. Story 12. I work at a fairly nice Italian restaurant where we do a lot of business. One night, a man who I was not even serving came up to me while I was punching an order in on the computer and hands me $20 and a napkin with a phone number on it. He proceeds to tell me, I'm on the worst date of my life. This woman is horrendous and I have to get out of here. Take this $20 and please go to the nearest phone and call me and tell me that I have to go home right now. I don't care what excuse you make up, I just got to get the hell out of here. Initially, I thought he was kidding until two minutes later, the guy who was serving him came up to me to tell me how wicked this woman was and how he could tell the guy didn't want to be there. I promptly called that guy as soon as I had a free minute. One of my shining achievements as a server. I called him and told him I was broke down on the side of the road and needed a lift. I never talked to the wicked woman, and consensus from the server in charge of her table was that she was just overly rude and off-putting. This was a nice gesture by the server to play along with this plan and help a brother out. It appears that the plan was executed perfectly. If this was a first date, though, would it have been that bad if the guy just said, yeah, I don't think there's a connection here, so have a good night? He could then bounce, pay the bill on his way out like a gentleman, but I guess that could still be very awkward if those two worked together or saw each other on a regular basis. If I was never going to see that woman again, though, I would have no issues just calling it a night and peacing out. Story 13. Used to work as a barman in a pub and restaurant in Hertfordshire. So this Indian guy is at the bar telling me how he's meeting his date for the first time and that she's also bringing her parents, possibly some tradition. Anyway, I'm chatting to him as he's waiting for the girl and her family to arrive. After about 10 minutes or so, they do arrive and are seated on a table nearby the bar. I notice throughout the evening how much he's seemingly making the family laugh and seems to be getting along pretty well. Now the fun begins. After dessert, the mother and father of the girl go to the beer garden outside, leaving the couple alone. After a moment or two, the man comes up to the bar and with a cheeky smile on his face, asks to pay the bill. Without hesitation, I process the transaction and congratulate him on how well his date appeared to go. He returns back to his table and takes a seat. Now the girl's parents now return from the garden with glowing smiles and rejoin the table. I notice again how they appear to be chatting and laughing until suddenly the man brandishes his receipt for the meal. The mood changed instantly. The glowing smiles replaced with looks of anger and disgust. The girl's father stands up and shouts, How dare you disrespect my family like this? Bearing in mind that this is a small country pub and restaurant, it grabbed the attention of all. The man then sheepishly exclaims his apologies in the deadly silence to the father, to which he replies, You will never see my daughter again. Following this, the father picks up his coat and turns to leave whilst demanding his wife and daughter leave with him. The wife stands up and immediately follows him out the door. Now the girl hesitates, half rising from the chair, and then decides to remain with the man where she now bursts into tears. The man was clearly overwhelmed with embarrassment and shock that he did not know what to do or how to react, so he proceeded to patting her in the top of her head. After about a half an hour or so of her crying, she eventually stops and decides to call a taxi to go home, explaining how she was sorry, but I have to go with my family. The man, clearly downtrodden at this point, reluctantly agreed and called a cab for her. Now, fast forward about three hours to when I finished my shift, which was about 1 a.m., I leave the pub and walk to my car in the car park. At this point, I notice a dark figure sat on a bench near my car. 
apprehension rising, I'm trying to decipher the person sat before me. Only when I am around 10 meters away do I notice it's the man from the date. He was bawling his eyes out. Turns out his date was now locked out of the house for the night as the parents were clearly distraught with her. And when the parents had left, they had slashed the poor guy's tires so he couldn't even drive home. Talk about a date gone wrong. All over paying the bill. Story 14. It was one of my first dates where the waiter definitely could sense the awkwardness. I was a junior in high school. I had been flirting with a senior for a couple months and asked her out the day I got my license. I picked her up from her house and within one minute of being in the car, she got a phone call. One of her best friends died of a brain aneurysm earlier that day. I told her that we could delay the date and offered to take her home, but she declined and insisted that we carry on. We get to the restaurant and she is crying at the table. I didn't say any words to her other than are you okay the whole date because she was either texting her group of friends or couldn't make out words due to being so hysterical. The waiter kept coming by and sensed how awkward I was feeling. Out of all my restaurant experiences, I have never received my entree and checks so fast. The waiter was a true bro. Why on earth would you carry on with the date after that? I don't really follow that logic. Maybe the guy was insanely handsome and his family was rich and she just didn't want to pass up on that opportunity. I guess I could also see that she just did not want to be alone at that moment, but she could probably just go see her friends and get some support that way. She might have been feeling out how sensitive the guy was and seeing how he could handle her at her worst, maybe. Story 15. Not a first date story, but pretty funny. On my boyfriend and my second anniversary, we went on a small dinner at a nicer place. Nothing fancy, but not Applebee's. My boyfriend is on his phone trying to find an old picture of our first date. He dug through his phone for like 20 minutes while I sat there and talked to him, when all of a sudden, two girls drop a note on our table. It said, it's a first date, talk to each other, and then some other crap like that. Apparently, they thought our first date was awkward and uncomfortable. And now every time he gets on his phone, even though it's almost two years later, I think of that date night. Story 16. Had a girl come into the bakery I work at to meet a Tinder date. This girl's cute, and I'd been crushing on her for a long time. So, I was getting pretty antsy about watching her go on a Tinder date at my place of work. So anyways, about 20 minutes into her sipping her coffee, her date walks in the door, takes one look at her, turns around, and leaves. She's starting to tear up while she dejectedly takes bites of her muffin, and I'm trying to peel away from the rush of customers to go console her for a second, while wiping down tables. Before I get the chance, a guy who also saw the whole thing sits down with her and they get to talking and eventually leave together. That was two years ago and they're getting married now. Story 17. I was a waiter as a first job. It was an attractive young woman and an average looking man. Now, first off, these people were 30 and I have no clue why they decided to go to Applebee's for dinner. The guy was wearing plaid sleep pants and an oversized red zip up Columbia. The woman was dressed more nicely, but it was still casual. All goes well until it comes time for entrees. This guy orders a ton of ribs, like a few full racks, and refuses the girl her original order of a house sirloin, which was only about $6, less than a fifth of his order. The man orders a $4 salad and a water for her. The woman stops talking completely while the man talks about some crazy party he went to. The man guzzles a few strawberry quencher iced teas, says, see you Friday, ho, and leaves her with the bill. She said the guy seemed nice when they talked on Tinder, but was very uncomfortable with him in real life and afraid to say something. A coworker and I paid for her meal, and later she and that same coworker started dating, and they're engaged now. Not as interesting as everyone else's for sure, but I thought I'd share. I think this woman needs to get away from this toxic relationship as soon as possible. It's not like she is at least getting fancy dinner perks since this loser is taking her out to Applebee's for dinner. The dynamics of the relationship is quite intriguing. Like, like, is she being held hostage, being paid, or perhaps lost a horrible bet? It's either one of those, or this guy's just a stellar performer in bet. But in the end, it all worked out for the woman since she found her love in the arms of the Applebee's staff. So, way to go, universe, on correcting that awkward duo.